the Collie's fracture. The distal radius is the end of the forearm, and this is where the hand is attached onto the forearm. So the distal radius is an extremely important structure in the wrist. Um, the mechanism of injury of a fall on an outstretched hand in certain patients of a, of an, a more older um, age group in their 50s and 60s, possibly with osteoporotic bone, um, even a low energy injury can cause what we call the Collie's fracture, which is a fracture of the distal radius. And this is the Collie's fracture. However, you can see a distal radius fracture, the same mechanism of injury, which tends to be more higher energy injury in younger patients also can fracture the distal radius. So um, these are, uh, it's the same bone which can break in younger patients. Um, this will be more high energy injury, um, a more severe fall. However, in older patients, the Collie's fracture will be a fracture in bone which is weakened, possibly due to osteoporosis. Um, which is when the quality of the bone is less and there is less bone density. The principle of treatment um, of this fracture is now similar um, since we now have a great deal of, of, of um, new techniques to treat this. Um, one, there is, one can trial conservative treatment, which if the fracture hasn't moved, then this can be treated in plaster, or if the fracture has moved and you can get a stable reduction and pull this fracture into good position, this can be managed in plaster and um, followed up by x-rays. The issue um, with the Collie's fracture in the, in the um, more mature population group is that sometimes there can be um, fractures um, causing comminution, which is when the bone isn't just broken in two parts, when there are many pieces of bone, and this can be unstable and drift. So nowadays, we can fix these fractures using special plates which hold together the bone and immobilize the fracture. And um, the plates we have nowadays, the way we can internally fix um, either a distal radius fracture in a young adult or a Collie's fracture of the distal radius in, 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 in a more mature adult. Um, these can be treated with plates which now hold the fracture in such a stable um, uh, uh, manner that you don't actually have to immobilize the patient in plaster at all. So the whole way we think and treat distal radius fractures has changed. Uh, to, up, up to 10 years ago, these fractures would be managed with either pins in plaster or, or, or mobilizing the patients in, in external fixators, frames sticking out of their hands and, and, and their forearms. And nowadays, even in patients with bone which is weaker, osteoporotic bone, the types of plates we have on the market can immobilize these fractures and enable the patient to move um, immediately, commence the rehabilitation. Therefore, the patient does not develop the stiffness and, um, of the hand, the wrist, the fingers, which is associated with prolonged period of time in plaster. So um, the outlook for wrist fractures um, is good, whether it be a skiing accident in a young adult of the distal radius or indeed a fall with a shattered distal radius in, a, in an older patient with a Collie's fracture. We, we um, can restore the anatomy of this bone now using these types of plates um, if necessary and we can get very favorable results with respect to the range of movement of the wrist and with respect to the strength in the wrist and we can get the patients back to activity either um, younger patients or older patients and one must not forget that many of the patients with their colleagues fractures um, are also very active okay many of my uh, the, um, patients um, well into their um, 70s 80s and even 90s are playing tennis so we cannot be an ageist, um, not just in distal radius fractures, also in life. Full functional weight bearing on the wrist. If we're talking about a young sports person um, doing press ups on the wrist, that could be three months um, after the fracture. Um, undertaking most activities of daily living with um, weight bearing on the wrist, wrist to a lesser extent would be six weeks afterwards. However, as soon as um, a day after the operation, um, the patient is using their fingers, they can work on a keyboard, they can um, undertake a day-to-day -day activity um, um, without weight bearing through the wrist. That's the, the beauty of um, aggressively plating these fractures um, as necessary. The patients do get back to activity. They could even be driving after a couple of weeks. Um, but um, with respect to um, contact sports, that will probably be between six weeks and three months before they'll get back to that.